Just like I said before, um, it's Valentine's Day, so plants are the sales pitch of the day today. They have some really cool plants, a few begonias in here. This is some ivy. Um, these are all things that grow really pretty easy, relatively easy. Um, good ZZ plant there. A couple of ZZ, some of these Majesty Palms on sale. And of course, they have pothos. This is a golden. You have the manjulas. Um, these here are some wax plants. Those are really, really interesting plants. This one. Oh, no, I'm just looking. The wax plants look good. And the um, Fetonia. This is a pretty Fetonia. Most of these are plants, strategically, that they've placed here that are generally pretty easy to grow. Um, some of them have different moisture requirements. However, they don't really say everything with the exception of the tag. Um, so, and some caladiums there. But yeah, basically everybody's going to have plants on sale. So it's up to you to use these little tags to see what these plants are all about. For example, this is these are both Petonias. There's Petonia there, Petonia here. This They're calling it the Ruby Red. And it tells you that it's low light. And then on the back of the card, let me see if I can show the back. There's the back of the card here. And it gives you additional, additional care here, see? So you get lighting requirements, soil, all these different things. Just want you guys to make sure that instead of just being like, oh my God, how cute, that you know what you're getting into. All right, this is ivy. Here, this grows outside, but it looks nice, some English ivy there. Um, oh, look, a nice little croton in there. They snuck in there. So these are relatively easy plants to take care of. Let's see. Let's see what else they have. Because anytime there is a season to put these plants out there for sale, they will do it. Um, here is winter. It's actually snowing in some parts of Georgia where I am. Um, so they bring all these plants inside. So here at this other section, um, we have a few umbrella plants. And now I see that they're doing the Wiccan grow um, in these pots. I want you guys to embrace it, but I also want you to be careful because again, we don't want root rot. We don't want to over water. Okay, this says never underwater or over water. It really just depends on the species. You can't just generalize and use these. Um, but they do have these new wick and grow plants and you can see where the wick just sits in the, you water, fill this container with water and then the wick from the bottom of the plant just sits in there. That can be good for some plants. Some plants might not like it. So just be careful. We're just going to read. I'm just showing you what's in my Home Depot. Lots and lots of peace lilies and majesty palms. Um, so that's pretty much all they have. My um, Home Depot, I live in a small town. So my Home Depot is not like have too much, but they do all right. Plenty of succulents. Plenty of succulents here many options. That's good that they have these huge aloe. It's rare that I see that. Since I've been in Georgia, it's rare that I see that. I usually see the really tiny ones. Um, so that's good that I see that and they have those and they're not a bad price. 12 bucks. Um, what they're selling now a lot are these edibles. Uh, they're $9.99 here at Home Depot, but at my Walmart, they're five dollars. So you can get blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, and since it's winter, they pretty much cleared out a lot of the plants, either put them inside or they send them back. But they do have some veggies out here because many of these veggies, the lettuces, um, the spinach, the collard greens, those survive. This is the kale. These will survive in uh, inclement weather. Um, as a matter of fact, my kale likes inclement weather. I sent two people my kale and they have the kale in a warm climate and the kale's not doing well because my, my kale loves uh, a cold climate. So I keep them outside. Um, obviously not freezing, but they don't mind being a little chilly. So they've got all kinds of veggies here, which is really good, but mostly your 
heavy green leafy vegetables, your broccolis, your collards, um, your cabbages, those will survive the cold temperature. So that's pretty much all. Just did a little run today um, just to see what's going on at Home Depot. So we're going to go to Lowe's next, see what they got going on. Just one of these Saturdays and sharing my little plant run with you guys. Let me know what you guys are doing. It's cold. Garden Center at Lowe's. Let's see. Lots of these flowers. Oh my God. That's so gorgeous. I'm not a flower person, but I do like calla lilies. They're so pretty. Hmm. Morning. So, lots of annuals, perennials, things that go outside. Um, so, again, dealing with the winter here. If you're in zone 10, you have nothing to worry about. When I'm in zone 8, um, when you're in zone 10, you know, the sun's always out. But here it's not. So they have to put plants away for the winter. But as you can see, strategy-wise, now they got red. Now they got all these things that are really pretty, but also have specialized care. So I'm going into the indoor garden. Oh, they got this thing in my way. So as usual, pothos, snake plants, majesty palms. And here's where they have uh, most of the houseplants that people kind of search out for. They have the red marantas. These are strawberry begonias. I am pretty sure, yeah, those are strawberry begonias. They have the leaf that looks like a strawberry plant's leaf, but they won't produce any fruit. Um, and some little palms here. They're called the parlor, parlor palms. They will stay a little small. I can't see past this big thing. What is this? Money tree. Um, lots of lucky bamboo here. Ferns down there. That's a dracaena or a dragon plant. And on the end here, let's go around this big machine. And you've got some Chinese evergreens, two varieties there. Um, this is cute little basket that they have the money tree, but we all know that this is going to grow to be my money tree is what five feet tall, so yeah. Uh, I don't know, it's going to be a while in that basket, but I don't know, I wouldn't buy it. Ah, epiphytic plants, air plants, very cute. As we know, epiphytic are plants that can survive without soil, they can just use nutrients from some other tree or from the air, they obtain moisture things like that so that's really cool um and Adam, there are oh an atom alert that's not good that's a baby oh so begonia's here i have this one at home but mine is suffering dearly more photonias um more dragon trees i am always giving stuff away so I gave away my, um, one of my, uh, Scandapsis. And, of course, I wanted to give it away. It was great. But I also want another one. So, what's this one? This, ooh, he's so pretty. This is an Aglianema as well. They get pretty big, but I like this one. How much? How much? Ten ninety-eight. That's not bad. I always, I have always, always been in love with anthuriums. They kind of terrify me a little bit because I don't know. I just things that flower. Not saying I won't deal with them and I don't know about them, but it's just eh, I'm a green girl. That's just me. So Lowe's always has this clearance rack on which you can find a lot of their. Um, these sort of uh, arrangements that they have that would be like 30 and 40 dollars a lot of times i come if they're on the clearance rack and they don't look terrible i can get them for like five dollars ten dollars when they're normally like 40. there's even an anthurium there so for me i see this anthurium right and it kind of scares me let's reach back there 
But if this was like a couple of dollars where if I end up hurting him, let's put this down. So if I end up hurting him, it's like $5. So I don't have to feel bad or even, this is how I think, I might get two. So now I'm kind of like this one that has a little damage, but this one doesn't look too bad, but it's on clearance. So I would get this just for me, just so in case I weird out and don't and overwater or underwater. I the having them on clearance makes me feel a little better about you know if I have to make a mistake. I don't want to pay forty dollars for a plant that you know I've never had. So it's one thing to have book smarts and go, okay, this is what the plant should do. It's another thing to have the plant in your home, in your space. There's another little one. So why are these on sale? I don't know. But there's another little anthurium and they look so pretty. Supposedly they're not bad, you know. So, but they like a lot of light. So, um, and I guess they're marking these down. Another strawberry begonia, Diefenbachia. There's a sago palm. We know that those are can be toxic so if you have those they need to be outside or they need to be up on a high shelf okay um so we know that but basically on this little run into Lowe's today saturday um everything pretty look everything looks pretty basic i don't want to say basic because you might not have them but there are not too many plants in here that i'm like oh my god i've never seen this and blah 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 I did want to share this system with you that just like I was mentioning over at Home Depot where they're talking about the wick and grow. So this is the wick. It's under the pot. So the pot comes with that little wick and there's water inside there. So these plants, they don't have to come in here and sort of spray them or water them. There's this little tiny skin dapsis. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't look that great. But um, this is the skin dapsis that I gave away. It's a pothos family. So it's a silver, but they also call it skin dapsis. And it has these, not only the silver, but it has this beautiful feel, like a very soft feel to it. I like it. I like it. So in this case, if I wanted a nice juicy one, I would buy multiples, but these don't look that great, so unless they're going to put them on sale. I don't know. I'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm willing to try the, uh, I'm willing to try the Anthurium just because it's on sale and um, it makes me a little tiny bit less afraid. So let's see, let's go see how much these are and um, see if we're going to get them. Only if it's like a couple of dollars. Okay? So all in all, um, we hit up the clearance, uh, usually at, um, let me put these in a shopping cart. Uh, let's see, I'm going to put these in a the shopping cart, see if we can. Ah, look how pretty that is outside. Now you can really see this philodendron. And the way you tell the philodendron, separate from the pothos, that right there. The little leaf sheath that covers little babies and these beautiful heart-shaped leaves. That is so pretty. Um, so, at your Lowe's, you have that inside clearance. And um, they will also have an outdoor clearance. Now, during the summer, these will have plants um, similar to the ones that were inside, but these are plants that would not survive out here in these cold temperatures. But these pansies um, will survive. Pansies are so cute. Look inside there. So these pansies, all these different colors. Wish I could find a pretty yellow one. There it is. Um, so pansies will, they don't mind the cold. And uh, they've got tons of pansies here. And um, these are mostly hedges. So these are on clearance as well. So a lot of these are plants. That's really pretty. I don't know what that's called. Let's see what that's called. False cypress. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. There are plants that will just do well outside. So this is the clearance for outdoor plants. So, and these are plants that can take this cold weather. It's wet. 
Um, so that's another tip for you for the lows. Always look for the little clearance racks. There's usually one outside, way in the back, so you see where all the soil is and they'll have it way over here to the side. Um, generally speaking, those plants that we saw indoors, they'll also come outside when the weather permits and be on the clearance rack. Sometimes even in this area, um, the little working area, they'll have, I've bought plants on clearance there. So just look for those, these big racks, rolling racks, and they'll have plants on clearance. So let's see what the deal is on the plants. Hello. What you doing today? Ah, this is definitely not clearance. Not But clearance. these were. No. Yes, they were. <laughs> No. That's the only way I would buy an anthurium if it was on clearance because I am afraid of them. I'm afraid of flowers. No, you're not. You oh, buy flowers all the time. I have plants. You buy flowers. I have plants. All right. This is so pretty. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's lime. Lime. Oh, it, look at that leaf right there. Yes, it's a lemon lime philodendron. They'll do that if they get more sun. So, ah, yes. Get more sun. If it gets more sun. So say hi to my plant friends. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what we doing today? Twenty dollars and thirty one cents. All cent. right. I'm gonna get my card out. Okay. They're cute, but I've never dealt with them, so I was like, oh, okay. on clearance? Yes, I will try. Mm -hmm. I want to try when they're forty dollars. Mm -hmm. Oh, not my pen number. <laughs> I'm I'm shopping with my friends here. Okay. And I don't need a bag today. You guys don't. Oh, you got some paper. No cash back. And yes, thank you. And you want it printed? Sure. Bada bing. We got you. I'm gonna grab some of your paper over here. And just so you guys know, they always have either like brown paper. Oh, they'll have some of this paper that you can put in your car so your plants don't make a mess. All right. You know that I will be back. Be back. Right. I said I wasn't going to be back. Didn't I just say that like, yes. what, two days ago? Yes. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> back again. <laughs> These are cute. I don't know what's going on. It may be. I think some of the, like the wicking. It's getting too much water. It's too much water. And yeah. they don't like, um, yeah, they water. don't like tap water. Really? No. Like, um, well, you could just take the tap water and sit it out for. All right, let's sit. Let the mineral everything settle in. All right, see you, ladies. All right, bye bye. All right, so that's Lowe's. So we got. Okay, so let's look. These anthuriums, ten ninety eight a piece. Um, these were supposedly three ninety eight a piece, and this one was ten ninety nine, and I paid twenty dollars. So let's see. Uh, the Wiccan Grows, which are the little Skindapses, were a dollar. Anthuriums were three dollars. Yeah, so overall, instead of paying ten dollars, I paid three dollars, and that was great because in case, you know, we're not anticipating, we're going to speak life, and we're going to speak, you know, positivity, but there's always a chance. And if I can get it for three dollars, I think that's a better deal. So, all right, we've done two. I don't think I'm going to go anywhere else. It's not like this is within my budget. But hey, fiddly fee fee. This is what we do. So, um, I'm going to put this paper down and put my plants in and let you guys know how it works out.